after reading Li Ka Xing's complete biography. Recently, I have been reading the book, The Complete Biography of Li Ka Xing, one after another during my leisure time with my spouse's hospitalization as a caregiver. Brushing the book and pondering, the masterpieces of Chen Mei Hua and Xian Lei vividly depict the legendary life of Li Ka Xing, a business tycoon and the richest Chinese, in a complete, clear, vivid, and vivid manner before people. I feel that Li Ka Xing is both a legendary superman and a mortal in the marketplace. He is called a superman because in the old China of the jungle and the treacherous Hong Kong business world, Li Ka Xing would never have stood out with such a prominent position and glory without Superman's perseverance, diligence, vision, and wisdom. As a superman, Li Ka Xing started as a tea maker at the age of 14, learning about society and contemplating life, and used the short idle time to learn English, learn knowledge, and recharge for realizing one's future dreams. At the age of 17, he went to the hardware factory to work as a street boy salesperson who walked the streets. At the age of 18, he became a department manager with excellent sales performance, and at the age of 20, he became the general manager of distribution. At the age of 21, when his business journey was smooth, he resigned from his job and independently founded the Yangtze River Plastic Factory. After experiencing difficulties, he finally let the flower of plastic bloom all over Xiangjiang and even the world, earning himself the reputation of the King of Plastic Flowers in Hong Kong. Afterwards, he recruited talented individuals and abandoned others, demonstrating his entrepreneurial vision. He first ventured into the real estate industry, and then joined forces with HSBC to establish Huahang through subway bidding. He helped ship King Bao Yugong, acquired British-owned foreign companies and British-owned businesses, conducted cross-border investments, expanded overseas markets, and built a media fleet. Through a series of major investments, he firmly established his position as the richest man in the Hong Kong business community and the world's Chinese wealth list. He is said to be a mortal because in Li Ka Xing's life, he had neither the care of the god of fate nor the protection of his ancestors, relatives, and friends. He had a tragic childhood and the pain of losing his father, the ups and downs of life, the joys and sorrows of life, the dreams of life, and the hardships of entrepreneurship. As a mortal, Li Ka Xing does not have a prominent family background. His grandfather, Li Xiaofan, was a scholar who lived idle in the countryside at the end of the Qing dynasty and did not enter the government. Father, Li Yunjing, is a teacher. After the Japanese invaders invaded their hometown and fled to Hong Kong, they worked as employees in a company. In 1943, he passed away from a tumultuous life due to illness and left this turbulent and chaotic world. Li Ka Xing was only 14 years old at the time. As the eldest son, he can only rely on his thin shoulders to make a living independently and carry the heavy burden of the family's life. He once served as a waiter in a tea house, accidentally spilling boiling water on customers and almost getting fired. He has worked as a salesman who travels through the streets, observing his behavior and quietly promoting products to various people. After starting an independent business, due to starting from scratch and being unarmed, one can only rely on a strong drive to be diligent, hardworking, and hands-on. He works 16 hours a day and is not only the boss, accountant, but also a worker in machine installation, debugging, operation, and even product production. At the same time, he is also a salesperson for his own products. Not long after starting his business, he encountered an unprecedented crisis, with customer returns, product backlog, and almost bankruptcy. Li Ka Xing's love journey was not smooth either, but after enduring hardships, striving for progress, and persistent pursuit, he finally got married to a talented female cousin from a prestigious family, Zhuang Yueming. From the complete biography of Li Ka Xing, I read about a passion for leading young people to motivate and start businesses, and the enlightenment on how to be a person. I feel that both young people who have left university and are striving in various fields, as well as the ambitious and ready students who have just entered university, can learn valuable life nutrition from Li Ka Xing's legendary life experience. As the saying goes, a man without a will stands firm. To aspire is to establish one's attitude and goals in life. Li Ka Xing was influenced by his father from a young age and read extensively the Book of Songs, the Analects, Li Sa, Tang Poetry, Song Poetry, Yuan Qiu. A particularly clear and lofty aspiration is always buried in the heart. 
This is, diligent and hardworking, standing out, serving the country and the people. I don't know which wise person once said, as far as one's thoughts go, one can go as far as one can. It is precisely because Li Ka-shing harbors the ambition of standing out and serving the country and the people that he is diligent in his studies. Whether it's studying at night or studying English hard as a tea shop attendant, or buy cheap books at old book stalls to make up for the pain of not being able to go to school and recharge your knowledge, whether it's studying the business skills of business celebrities or studying the cross-border investment and management of developed Western countries, whether it's exploring new real estate industries or stepping into the vortex of the stock market, Li ka Shing's spirit of tireless teaching. And diligent learning is one of the keys to his successful entrepreneurship. Some people say that traditional culture and commercial culture are vastly different, and ice charcoal is not acceptable. In the eyes of ordinary businessmen and billionaires, it is impossible to integrate wealth and kindness in a deceitful shopping mall. And Li ka Shing did it. Li ka Shing kept in mind his father's last words before his death, poverty and determination remain steadfast, to be a person, one must have backbone, to seek others is better than to seek oneself, to endure hardship is to become a superior person, to be unjust and rich and noble is like a floating cloud to me, to be discouraged and not to forget one's pride. In Hong Kong, where the competition is fierce amidst the western wind, he successfully combines the principles of business and conduct, based on honesty. When Li ka Shing recalled his first bucket of entrepreneurial gold, he said, Capital is the blood of a company and the source of its life. Reputation and honesty are also life, sometimes even more important than his own life. I never agree that in order to succeed, no means are chosen. Even if there is a slight gain by chance, it cannot last long. As the saying goes, when you get married harshly, you cannot enjoy the gift for a long time the most important quality of a businessman is to make others trust you. Therefore, in business and entrepreneurship, one should not only seek personal gain, but also not betray one's faith and eliminate everything. It is necessary to balance the interests of small shareholders and the interests of enterprise employees. Therefore, in the process of many joint acquisitions and mergers of large, medium, and small enterprises, Li ka Shing was able to convince his opponents, ultimately shaking hands and making peace, without any bloodshed. It reflects the extraordinary wisdom and traditional virtues of outstanding Chinese businessmen. Li ka Shing candidly said, in the past, 99% of the teaching was to teach children the principles of life. Now, sometimes we talk about business, about one-third of the time we talk about business, and 23 teach them the principles of life. Because the world is the key to understanding. Everyone in the world is shrewd, and it is important to convince others and enjoy socializing with you that is the most important thing. Yes Li ka Shing said, the most important thing in life is to be trustworthy. Even if I have 10 times more funds now, I cannot handle so many businesses, and many of them are voluntarily sought after by others. These are the results of being trustworthy. To be trustworthy to others and have loyalty to friends. Today, many people may not believe it, but I believe that the word righteousness is truly useful for life. Another important secret to Li ka Shing's success is to appoint people on their own merits and to know and handle them well. After entering the 1990s, Li ka Shing's career and reputation reached their peak. All of these achievements were not created by Li ka Shing himself, but all originated from his working emperor. The so-called working emperor refers to the most profitable migrant worker in Hong Kong. The outstanding workers under Li ka Shing's leadership include Ma Shimin, former managing director of Huang Group, Anniversary Mao, vice managing director of Changsha Group, Hua Janning, who succeeded Ma Shimin, Zhou Humu Fang, Vice General Manager of Huang Group, Lu Fang Fang, Financial Director of Huang Group, Li Seiju, Vice Chairman of Changsha Group, Ma Li Shi, Chairman of Bank of East Asia, Li Baogua, and so on. These people have made great contributions to Li ka Shing's foundation in Hong Kong and abroad. In an interview with a certain reporter, Li ka Shing said, My talent concept is that, employees who are knowledgeable and responsible, have a sense of belonging to the company, and are loyal and hardworking should have clear rewards and punishments, so that they have a good future and become core members of the company. Regardless of race or place of origin, we should make our subordinates like you and sincerely believe in you. For a successful person like Li ka Shing, diligence is undoubtedly a necessary condition. However, there are thousands of people in the world who work hard, and only a very few have achieved great success. 
Regarding this, Li Ka Sheng revealed the true essence of it, in addition to attendance, one also needs to be frugal, just to oneself, not to others, to establish a good reputation and human-machine relationship, having judgment is also an important condition for success. Everything needs to be fully understood, studied in detail, and accurate information, so that appropriate judgments can naturally be made. Seeking knowledge is the most important aspect. Today, I still need to study and try to watch reports on emerging technologies, finance, politics, and other related topics. Every evening, I also watch English TV and review my English. The reporter asked Li Ka Xing, how do you view fame and fortune generally? Fame and fortune do not form an impact on the heart, and there is a set of life philosophy to deal with them. However, the big tree catches the wind, which is a daily problem and enough trouble, but the goal cannot be avoided. Only by learning to handle it calmly, said Li Ka Xing, I will not deliberately pursue fame and fortune. However, in my career, I certainly want to make the company have enough funds to expand and maintain competitiveness. After success, I will use the excess funds to serve the country and the people, and benefit the local people. I will sit back and do what I want to do, feel at ease, and every inch will have its own world. Li Ka Xing developed without forgetting his country. After the reform and opening up, he not only independently donated funds to build residential buildings and hospitals to solve the problem of housing difficulties for the people in his hometown, but also repeatedly donated huge amounts of donations to the people in disaster-stricken areas in China, and invested 880 million Hong Kong dollars to establish Shantou University. When interviewed by Chinese and foreign journalists, Li Jiaqing said, creating Shantou University is a duty that every citizen should fulfill. Supporting the country and serving the country is my goal. The most advanced science, technology, and machinery also require talents with excellent ideological and cultural qualities to operate and control. The establishment of Shantou University aims to cultivate talents for the four modernizations of the country and first-class talents for the Chaoshan region. It serves the people of Chaoshan and has not transformed the backward appearance of Chaoshan. Force Of course, there may still be controversy in the media and various sectors regarding the evaluation of Li Ka-shing. No matter how we argue or argue, one thing is worth fully affirming, which is that we can learn too much from Li Ka-shing, a successful business elite. His lofty aspirations, his diligence in self-study, his honesty as the foundation, his foresight and foresight, his foresight and shrewdness, his understanding of people and responsibilities, his loyalty to family, friends, and company employees, his contributions to the country and the people of Chaoshan, and so on, will always be remembered by the people. After reading Li Ka Xing's complete biography too. During his resignation and unemployment, the first person I finished reading was, the complete biography of Li Ka Xing. As a Chaozhou native, I was reading his biography for the first time and specifically searched for his speech at Shantou University. Unexpectedly, after so many years, his Chaozhou accent was still so strong. What was even more surprising was that he was already 87 years old. In my impression, he was still just an elderly person in his 60s, hoping that Superman could live a long life. After reading the entire book, I didn't take any notes, but I had a deep impression on a few points. 1. Li Xing attaches great importance to knowledge and constantly studies every day. He is very, very diligent. 2. Li Sheng is very friendly to people, willing to concede benefits, very kind to employees and shareholders, and maintains good relationships with competitors, with great credibility. 3. The management method of merging East and West is to know people and make good use of them. 4. Very frugal, wearing a cheap watch and a suit for many years. 5. Philanthropist. Here is an excerpt from the author of this book about the nine key points of daily management that Li Ka Xing has planned for himself, 1. Diligence is the foundation of all careers. Work diligently, be responsible to the enterprise, and be accountable to shareholders. 2. Be frugal towards yourself and generous towards others. Dealing with everything based on the interests of others. 3. Always maintain an innovative mindset and look at the world with one's own eyes, rather than following the flow. 4. Keeping promises, establishing good reputation, and having a good reputation are indispensable prerequisites for success. 5. When making decisions about anything, one should be open-minded and coordinate the overall situation. 
but once a decision is made, it is important to implement it without hesitation. 6. Trust subordinates. All administrative personnel of the company have their own sources of information and market information. When deciding on any major matter, relevant personnel should be gathered together to gather information from each person, so as to brainstorm and minimize opportunities for mistakes. 7. Set an example of efficiency for subordinates. Before giving a concentrated lecture on specific matters, relevant personnel should be notified a few days in advance to prepare materials in order to streamline and improve work efficiency. 8. The implementation of policy should be steady and prudent. Lay a solid foundation within the enterprise and focus on cultivating the adaptability of enterprise management personnel. Before deciding on something, one should think of all contingency measures and not take risks and make hasty progress. 9. Understand the hopes of subordinates. In addition to life, employees should be given a good future, moreover, everything prioritizes the interests of employees, especially in old age. The company should provide absolute protection to employees, so that they have a sense of belonging to the group and enhance the cohesion of the enterprise. I have read a lot of rumors about him online, and my father-in-law gave him 600,000 yuan, such as selling drugs. I am more willing to believe in beautiful things, diligence, frugality, wisdom, and kindness than to believe in these. After reading Li Ka Xing's Complete Biography 3. After class, I ordered the Complete Biography of Li Ka Xing online and insisted on reading 30 pages every day. I finally finished reading it a few days ago, and the whole book witnessed the legend of a person who gradually grew from a poor and impoverished person to a business genius and the world's richest man. Appreciate the grandeur of a generation of Confucian merchants dominating the Xiangjiang River and crossing overseas, and at the same time, we can also experience the generosity of philanthropists. Feeling a great man's persistence in love to the fullest. All of this stems from a wise life. Li Ka Xing was born on July 28, 1928 in Chowan County, Guangdong Province. It is a city with a long history, surrounded by three mountains and one water, and beautiful mountains and rivers. The Li family has produced many talented individuals with profound knowledge, and has received Confucian education since childhood. In Li Ka Xing's heart, there is a sea. His father, Li Jingyun, always takes him to see the sea and teaches him life lessons. From then on, he decided to become a captain. In the Li family tree, it is not possible to find genes for business in one's ancestors. But he has become a generation of businessmen. After the July 7th incident, Li Jingyun was forced by the turmoil of the war and his family's downfall. After much contemplation, he decided to join his brother-in-law, Zhuang Jingyun, a Hong Kong merchant. After all, it was under the supervision of others, and life was not good. At the same time, due to the war and lack of employment, Li Ka Xing's father passed away soon after, and from then on, Li Ka Xing had to bear the heavy burden of the entire family. At first, looking for jobs everywhere was a challenge, but his mother Zhuang Biyun encouraged him not to give up. During this time, he refused the job opportunity offered by his uncle and insisted on finding a job on his own. Finally, his hard work paid off, and he found a job serving tea. In this job, he actively and diligently worked, earning the appreciation of his boss. His classmates learned to observe words and distinguish people. Afterwards, he went to work at his uncle's company. No matter what job he did, he always worked hard and kept forging ahead. After continuous refinement and strict requirements from himself and myself, Li Ka Xing gained recognition from many people. His business acumen gradually emerged, and he was able to find channels that others had not yet discovered when doing sales. Li Ka Xing is a person with modern business philosophy, ambitious and strong abilities. He often thinks that others dare not think and does not dare to do, achieving a certain level in the plastic industry, and constantly exploring new business opportunities, spanning industries such as real estate and finance. His honesty and credibility have won everyone's support and cooperation. In him, we can see a person constantly striving in adversity, overcoming numerous obstacles, and ultimately achieving victory. From being a working apprentice to starting his own business, daring to break through is enterprising, understanding business opportunities, and walking step by step with caution. This person who is comfortable in business is also very specialized in dealing with love. 
he only became a companion with Zhuang Yueming, who had been in love for many years, until he could truly afford the responsibility of his family. Zhuang Yueming had a high degree and became his virtuous wife, holding hands for a lifetime. Li Kaxing did not forget his hometown during his glorious rise. Seeing the poverty in his hometown, he would rather go bankrupt than subsidize the establishment of a university. The most touching thing was when she raised funds for Shantou University. Due to financial reasons, Mrs. Zhuang Yueming said, apart from leaving behind a clothes change, you can sell it, as well as gold and silver jewelry. We must also build Shantou University. What we see in his business development process is keeping up with the times, building momentum against the wind, and having firm confidence, all of which are enough to motivate us. A great businessman not only has wealth, but also why he can obtain all of it. Honing, perseverance, perseverance, and striving. Because everything in life is hard won, only by constantly striving can there be more progress and greater gains. After reading Li Ka Xing's complete biography 4. When it comes to Li Ka Xing, almost no one in the Chinese world does not know him, and he even enjoys a certain level of fame in the world. He went from a young man with bare hands to an enviable and admirable billionaire. He grew from a poor child of 14 years old to the chairman of Changjiang Industry, which monopolized the Hong Kong economy, and became the richest man in China and even Asia, with many things worth learning from. After reading the biography of Li Ka Xing, I have gained a lot of knowledge. Behind success, there are many costs to pay, and it requires a hundred times and a thousand times more effort than others. After reading Li Ka Xing's life, what I marvel at is not the magnificent foundation he founded, but his diligent, studious, sincere, hard-working, and pioneering spirit. Because he possesses these spirits, he has achieved what he is today. Li Jiaqing was born in 1928 in Chaozhou, Guangdong. In 1939, after the Japanese occupation of Chaozhou, they fled to Hong Kong with their parents. Forced to drop out of school at the age of 12 and make a living in society. At the age of 17, he became a salesperson for a wholesaler, working 16 hours a day. Due to his outstanding work, he became a manager at the age of 18, a general manager at the age of 19, and started his own business at the age of 22. In 1952, Li Kaxing opened the Yangtze River Plastic Factory to produce plastic flowers. In the 1960s, he set foot in real estate and gradually became a real estate king. In 1972, Changjiang Industrial went public, and in 1979, he acquired British and Huang, becoming the first Chinese to acquire a British-owned business firm. In 1985, acquired Hong Kong Electric Light Group. Later, he also ventured into energy and telecommunications companies. Li Kaxing is now the world's largest port operator and owns the largest retail group in Asia, Watson's, which is the first to launch 3G mobile phone business in Europe. At present, Changjiang Group's business covers more than 50 countries worldwide, with over 210,000 employees. The group has a total of nine listed companies in Hong Kong, with a total market value of approximately 7,280 million Hong Kong dollars. Ha Huang is one of the Fortune Global 500. Li Ka Xing's experience can be considered legendary. What exactly led to his success? This is inseparable from his diligence, sense of responsibility, and integrity. As Li Ka Xing said, I think success has three stages. The first stage is entirely about hard work and constantly striving to achieve results, the second stage, although there is some luck, it is not much. Now. Of course, it also depends on luck. But if there is no personal condition, luck will also run away. It can be seen that diligence is indispensable in every stage, it's also the key. It can be said that a person's present does not represent their future. As long as they are willing to work hard and strive, their fate can be changed. After achieving success in his career, he did not forget those in need of help in society. As one of the few Chinese philanthropists, he has broken the ancient saying of, being rich without mercy, and has donated over 800 million US dollars to various charitable causes. In Li Ka Xing, wealth and nobility are perfectly reflected. He said in his business training that true wealth requires understanding how to use the money you have earned, fulfill some of your obligations, and have responsibilities. Valor comes from your actions. 
These all reflect Li Ka Xing's personality charm. Although successful cases cannot be replicated, successful experiences can be learned. Success is not accidental, but there are reasons for it. Of course, Li Ka Xing is a lucky person, and this luck is also achieved through his own hard work. Especially this book can inspire us to find the qualities we lack by introducing Li Ka Xing's experience. Although reading alone is impossible to succeed, his life experience will definitely bring us courage and passion, telling us what a person who desires to achieve great things needs. As a college student, one should not only continuously learn textbook knowledge, work hard, but also learn the principles of being a person, treat others with sincerity, understand how to give back to society, and be a person who contributes to society.